the 11th season of 71 Greater Nord, Norgis Tuffest Descendis, promised breathtaking landscapes and gruelling challenges. This season, the stakes were higher than ever, with the rugged terrain of Norway serving as both a stunning backdrop and a formidable adversary. Twelve celebrities, divided into two teams, were ready to test their limits in the unforgiving Norwegian wilderness. Each contestant brought their own unique skills and backgrounds, but nothing could fully prepare them for the trials ahead. Little did they know, the toughest battle wouldn't just be against nature, but against each other. The harsh weather conditions and relentless physical challenges quickly took a toll, pushing everyone to their breaking points. Team Lindesnes, with its mix of strong personalities, quickly became a hotbed of tension. The pressure of the competition and the strain of the environment led to frequent clashes and heated discussions. Among them, comedian Espen Abrahamson, sports journalist Karina Olset, and seasoned reality TV personality Gaute Grutta Grav found themselves at the heart of the drama. Each brought their own approach to the challenges, sometimes leading to collaboration, but often resulting in conflict. The dynamics within the team were constantly shifting, with alliances forming and breaking as the days went on. The intense group interactions and personal rivalries added an extra layer of complexity to the already demanding expedition. As the journey progressed, it became clear that surviving the wilderness was only half the battle. Navigating the intricate web of human relationships was equally crucial. As the expedition progressed, whispers of discontent within Team Lindesness began to surface. The initial excitement and camaraderie started to wane as the days grew longer and the challenges more gruelling. Espen Abrahamson, known for his sharp wit and candid remarks, hinted at a less than harmonious atmosphere. In his confessional interviews, he often alluded to underlying tensions that were not immediately apparent to the viewers. The demanding physical challenges, coupled with sleep deprivation and constant hunger, amplified personality clashes. Contestants were pushed to their limits, both physically and mentally, leading to frayed nerves and short tempers. Abrahamson, careful not to name names initially, suggested that certain team members were more focused on individual victory than on teamwork. His observations hinted at a growing divide within the group, with some prioritizing personal gain over collective success. He pointed towards a palpable tension between Gauta Grutta Grav and Karina Olset, leaving audiences to wonder what sparked the conflict. The friction between these two key players seemed to be a focal point of the unfolding drama, raising questions about the future cohesion of Team Lindesness. As the competition intensified, viewers were left on the edge of their seats, eager to see how these dynamics would play out. Karina Olset, never one to shy away from speaking her truth, broke her silence on the mounting tension within Team Lindesness. She openly criticised Gaute Grutter Grav's behaviour, accusing him of equating human worth with physical strength. His comments, especially during confessionals, were incredibly provocative, Olset revealed, her voice laced with frustration. The exhaustion and pressure made it difficult to communicate effectively. The demanding environment, she argued, exacerbated these clashes, pushing her to a breaking point. Gauta Grutta Grav, a seasoned reality TV competitor, was quick to refute Olset's accusations. 
Her portrayal of me is a gross misrepresentation, he stated emphatically. Grutter Grab maintained that he enjoyed getting to know Olset during the expedition and wished her well. However, he vehemently denied ever judging anyone based on their physical capabilities. The clash of perspectives left viewers questioning who to believe, the seasoned competitor or the outspoken journalist. As the season unfolded, Espen Abrahamson added fuel to the fire with a startling claim. He didn't hold back, revealing what he believed to be the true nature of one of his fellow contestants. He alleged that Gota Greta Graf behaved differently when the cameras were off. According to Abrahamson, the charming and supportive persona that Gota displayed on screen was just a facade. It felt like we were pawns in Gout's game, Abrahamson confessed, implying a calculated strategy. He described feeling manipulated and used, as if every interaction was part of a larger scheme. He cited instances where Grutter Grab allegedly made disparaging remarks about fellow contestant Marlin Nesvol off camera, painting a stark contrast to his on-screen behavior Despite appearing supportive on screen, Gota's off-camera comments suggested a different story. Abrahamson's allegations hinted at a deeper, more strategic game being played. These accusations painted a picture of a calculated competitor, one who was willing to go to great lengths to secure his position in the competition. Willing to exploit situations for personal gain, Goat's alleged behaviour raised questions about the authenticity of his actions and the true nature of reality TV dynamics. Section 6. Frigstad weighs in. A nuanced perspective on Grutter Graf's intensity. Adding another layer to the complex narrative, Tonya Frigstad, another member of Team Lindesness, offered a more nuanced perspective on Gote Grutter Grab. She acknowledged his infectious energy and undeniable competitive spirit. We shared a drive to win, Frigstad explained, but sometimes that intensity might have been overbearing. Her balanced observation suggested that Grutter Grab's desire to win, while admirable, could sometimes create friction within the group. Section 7. Greta Grav's Truth. The focus on competition and entertainment. Facing mounting criticism, Gauta Greta Grav remained steadfast in his defense. He emphasized the inherent nature of reality television, a world where cameras constantly rolled capturing every interaction. My focus was on the competition and creating engaging content, he stated. Grutter Grav argued that the pressure to entertain, coupled with the demanding schedule, likely influenced his behavior. Section 8. Marlin Nesvol, the missing voice in the controversy. While the conflict between Grutter Grav Abrahamson and Olset raged on, a key player remained silent. Marlin Nesvol, the subject of alleged off-camera remarks, was unavailable for comment. Her absence from the unfolding drama only intensified the mystery. Without her perspective, viewers were left to grapple with conflicting accounts and unanswered questions. Section 9. Reality Bites. Production. Acknowledges tensions and diverse personalities. As the controversy surrounding 71 Grader Nord escalated, Ola Magnus Svihus, a spokesperson for Discovery, the show's production company, addressed the situation. The demanding nature of the expedition, both physically and mentally, inevitably leads to friction, Svihus admitted. He acknowledged the diverse personalities within the group, suggesting that clashes were not unexpected given the pressure cooker environment. 